dear students in previous lecture we discussed about some fundamental aspects of electrical machine design and you have seen what are the major considerations to evolve good design what are the different circuits used to build structure of rotating electrical machines like magnetic circuit electric circuit dielectric circuit thermal circuit then mechanical parts okay next let us discuss what are the limitations in electrical machine design okay see basically while designing any electrical machine designer has to look into all these limitations okay like saturation temperature rise insulation efficiency mechanical parts commutation power factor then consumer specifications and standard specifications we will discuss one by one right see you know apart from availability of suitable materials facilities available for manufacture of required machine parts and facilities required for transportation the following consideration impose limitations on design okay here nowadays almost all electrical machine designers or industry they use modern trends in design and follow modern manufacturing techniques though they have modern manufacturing techniques but they face some technical difficulties or constraints and they are considered as limitations in design okay let us discuss first parameter that is saturation how saturation of magnetic material acts as limiting factor for the design and you know all magnetic materials possess magnetic properties okay that magnetic property may be greater or lesser in degree but the magnetic properties of materials are usually characterized by their relative permeability in accordance with the value of relative permeability magnetic materials are divided into three broad classes like ferromagnetic materials paramagnetic materials and diamagnetic materials and why electrical machines are designed using ferromagnetic materials okay the relative permeability of these materials are much greater than unity and these permeability values depends upon the magnetizing force okay though there are other types of materials magnetic materials like paramagnetic materials and diamagnetic materials compared to paramagnetic and diamagnetic materials relative permeability of ferromagnetic material is very high hence all magnetic part of electrical machines are designed using ferromagnetic materials and when ferromagnetic material is placed in a magnetic field there is considerable distortion and therefore the whatever force exerted is very large okay and this property makes ferromagnetic materials very useful for electrical engineering applications iron nickel cobalt and many of their alloys are ferromagnetic in nature and it is also soft magnetic material because hysteresis loss depends upon area of hysteresis loop and for this reason whatever magnetic cores used in alternating fields are made from materials whose hysteresis loop are more or less narrow and definitely these materials are soft and gives less iron losses in the electrical uh, machines when they are subjected to higher flux densities okay the maximum allowable flux density to be used in is determined by the saturation level of ferromagnetic materials used and while discussing design factor you have seen one of the important design factor is choice of magnetic flux density and in case of electromagnetic machines 1.6 weber per meter square is taken as upper limit to decide saturation level of magnetic circuit but by changing volume of active part 
designer may go for higher flux density again he can go for higher flux density depending upon type of magnetic material used also if cold rolled grain oriented steels if crgo steel is used then operating flux density is higher than hot rolled okay so depending upon type of magnetic material and its saturation level uh, limit in terms of flux density designer will decide uh, maximum allowable flux density by seeing saturation level of the magnetic circuit and high value of flux density definitely it results in increased excitation resulting in higher cost for the field system so this is very true because when higher flux densities are chosen definitely cost of field system in case of dc machine will increase now let us discuss second limiting factor in the design of machine is temperature rise now you know every electrical machine is a power or energy converting device during these process of power or energy conversion definitely some waste in the energy is inevitable whatever losses produced in machine are converted into heat energy and as a result of which the various parts of machine are heated that is their temperature rise above that of surroundings or ambient temperature and whatever heat energy is there that appears mainly in the active parts resulting in increase in temperature of iron as well as copper because active part active magnetic part is iron and active electrical part is copper and this rise in temperature definitely affects the insulating materials put to isolate the windings from the iron parts and therefore there is always a safe maximum temperature to which a particular insulating material can be subjected to without losing its effectiveness and as a temperature rise in a machine depends upon the losses which in turn depends upon the output of machine therefore maximum allowable load on machine would be determined by maximum permissible temperature rise of the insulating materials used in put because the most critical part of machine is its insulation and while discussing basic structure of electrical machine we have seen different circuits like magnetic circuit electric circuit dielectric circuit thermal circuit and mechanical parts and out of five circuits dielectric circuit is most uh weakest in the all circuit because once dielectric material phase definitely there will be short circuit in the machines because dielectric materials are used to insulate high voltage parts from the ground potential and if insulation material fails if dielectric fails that will create lot of problems in case of electrical machine hence uh choice of insulating material and its class is very important by seeing even temperature rise also because whatever loss is there in the machine that appears in the form of heat and because of heat there is temperature rise and whatever rise in temperature is there that must be within safe limit because rise in temperature it depends upon output of machine the machine which is designed for higher output must be designed with better class of insulating material and better class in terms of its standing also okay hence operating life of machine it depends upon the type of insulating material used in its construction and in turn life of that insulating material depends upon temperature rise of the machine okay life of machine depends upon type of insulating material and life of insulating materials it depends upon temperature rise of the machine and if the insulating material is operated if any insulating material is operated beyond maximum allowable temperature its life is drastically so classification of insulating materials even based on thermal considerations as per indian standard 1271 1958 and these recognized class of insulating materials have different classes right from class y to class c and for each and every class 
temperature withstand capacity is different. For example, class Y withstands 90 degree centigrade, EA withstand 105 degree centigrade, class E withstand 120 degree centigrade, class B 130 degree centigrade, class F 155 degree centigrade, class H withstands 180 degree centigrade and if temperature limit exceeds even 180 degree centigrade, we have class C insulating materials. Hence, while choosing uh, type of insulating material, designer will look into what class of insulating material is required based on output and temperature rise. Okay, and even after choosing appropriate class of insulating material by seeing maximum allowable temperature for that particular class, designer can go for higher outputs in terms of specific electric loading as well as magnetic loading through proper cooling and ventilation techniques because proper ventilation and cooling techniques will keep temperature rise within safe limits. The cooling medium flowing along proper paths definitely it will picks up the heat from the machine parts for dissipation outside the machine thereby it will prevent temperature rise to become excessive because there are three modes of heat deception like conduction, convection and radiation depending upon type of cooling medium used or depending upon type of cooling techniques used if rate at which temperature rise and rate at which temperature dissipate if both are thermally balanced if there is thermal equilibrium condition is achieved definitely designer can go for higher outputs for given uh, class of insulation material as well as specific electric and magnetic loading and definitely that rise in temperature will be uh, within safe limit but this particular temperature rise is also limiting factor for electrical machine design if designer doesn't choose proper class of insulating material by seeing its output based on permissible temperature rise of that uh, particular class of insulating material. Otherwise what happens? If that particular class of insulating material is operated beyond maximum allowable temperature limit. If you take example of class A insulating material, under class A insulating material generally uh, laminated wood or varnished paper comes. They are impregnated with natural resins or insulating aisles and they withstand temperature of 105 degree centigrade. But by chance, if those insulating materials which comes under class A is subjected to temperature beyond 105 degrees centigrade, then definitely their life degrees. And rise in temperature will affect insulating property. It will that insulation property of insulating material gets deteriorated, and deterioration of insulation property of that particular insulating material will reduce operating life of machine. Hence operating life of machine depends upon type of insulating material and life of insulating material it depends upon temperature rise of the machine next coming to uh, insulation how uh, insulation insulation material or choice of insulating material acts as a limiting factor in the design the insulating materials used in machine should be able to withstand the stresses which are developed due to electrical mechanical or thermal condition because these, uh, these electrical, mechanical and thermal condition will definitely create some stress when there is energy conversion. Okay, And whatever the mechanical strength of insulation is there, that is very much important in case of transformers. Because when transformers are subjected to short circuit condition, there will be large axial as well as radial forces produced at the secondary winding of transformer and that insulation must withstand these mechanical stresses under short circuit conditions. Okay, therefore, while designing insulation for transformer, designer has to give due consideration to the capability of insulation to withstand large mechanical stresses that are produced under short circuit condition as a part from electrical as well as thermal breakdown considerations. Okay. Then type of insulation is decided by maximum operating temperature of machine parts where it, it is put. Just now I discussed different class of insulating material, how they are chosen, what are their uh, 
withstand temperature withstand capacity maximum allowable limit and size of insulation is not only decided by maximum voltage stress but also they are decided by mechanical stresses produced okay